I'm Anil Kumar. We are trying to understand how to find probability using counting principles. Here is an example where we'll find probability using combination. The question here is, find the probability that when a hand of five cards is drawn from a standard deck of cards, it contains three queens. So as you know, in a deck of standard cards, we have 52 cards, right? And amongst those 52 cards, we could have four queens in all. Now, when we say that we have a hand of five cards, it means what? So we have one, two, three, four, five. In the hand of five cards, which we've drawn, we need three queens. Now, three queens could be like placed anywhere. The order really doesn't matter. We just need three out of five to be queens. That is what we need. Now in this case, since order is not important or not critical, what should we use? Is a case of combination, correct? So that is how first question is asked, whether it is combination or permutation, right? Since we began with the topic of combination, you could jump to it. But the reason here is that this order is not important. And therefore, it's a case of combination. Now, if we have to draw a hand of five cards, we take three queens out of four. So what is the combination? That means out of four, we are selecting three queens, right? Now, these two places have to be filled from the other cards. Other cards means 52 take away four, right? We cannot take the fourth queen also. That means 48 cards, 48 cards which remain. So out of 48, we have to select two cards to fill up these spaces, right? So we could have 48 C4, right? So that becomes the total number of combinations for selecting three queens, right? So in this case, the favorable, I mean, I should write favorable combinations are 4C3 times 48 C4, right? Now, what are the total number of combinations? Since we are selecting 5 out of 52, all possible outcomes are from set of 52 combinations of 5, right? That is the set of combination. And therefore, we can write down the probability of selecting 3 queens. So the probability of three queens from a deck of card is the ratio of favorable outcomes to total number of outcomes, right? Which is 4C3 times 48C4 divided by 52C5, correct? So that is the answer for us. You can always take the calculator, calculate the answer and write it down, right? So you have the combination formula there. You can plug it in, find the answer and write it down. I hope that helps the concept, how to find the probability of getting three queens. Now, as an extension to this question, you can do, what is the probability of getting at least three queens in a hand of five cards, right? At least three queens in a hand of five cards. So let this be the question for you. Probability of at least three queens in a hand of five cards, right? So that could be an exercise for you. So we have done at least means three or four, right? So we'll add the 
other combination, four queens and one other card. That goes into the numerator, denominator we know is 52C5. I'm Anil Kumar and I hope that helps. You can always subscribe and share my videos. Thank you and all the best.